This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Noom. Head on over to Noom.com slash rogue. Sign up for a 30-second quiz. Find out what program is best for you. I'm sure you'll be fine. I feel all kinds of feels. Feel penned in already? Oh, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> all right. Get up there. Oh, yeah, Get no. up there. Get no. on <laughs> No. Get no. on him. No, I don't like Do it. Do it. I don't like it. <laughs> We're back with our friends Anthony and Anna from the Austin Historical Weapons Guild. Today, we are going to fight Sephiroth, apparently. Uh, Good lord. <laughs> these are amazing. What is this? Yeah. These are Montantes, or Zweihanders, or Spadones, or they have lots of names, but they're giant swords. Those sound all made up. I'm going to agree. Yes. Where, where would you use this thing? There's lots of places to use these, and this is why they're Arby's. kind of like, yeah. <laughs> okay. The car dealership, yeah, yeah. Uh, daycare center, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? I prefer the Alamo just to get it, get a good seat. <laughs> Not the Alamo, oh, the Alamo draft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure. These are primarily battlefield weapons. Okay. Everyone always talks about these being used against pike lines, pike formations, things like that. About using them to control, displace. Because people always say that, oh yeah, use it and you cut the pikes in half at the haft, and. People have done that. Yeah, I see your expression of doubt. <laughs> but usually it's because they're holding the pike down and like they're really hacking and like cleaving through it. So yeah. it's less that, but it's more, it's using the mass to displace control. But outside of that, what I really think they're fun is their bodyguard weapons, their crowd control weapons, and they're how one person keeps multiple people at bay or keeps someone safe behind them. Okay, so this is not your typical weapon that you would carry into battle. No, it's a unique weapon, it's a specialty weapon, and the people who use these were often called double-pay soldiers because they got paid twice as much as the average soldier. Why is that? Just because it's a this. Because it's <laughs> this. Right? It's a special unit, it's a special type, you have mm -hmm. to know how to use it because gotcha. it's not just a normal sword. And is this like somebody on a horse, or is this somebody on the... On foot. Is it you wearing like a full crazy set of armor, or is it just... Loosely, okay. sometimes. Are you familiar with the Lance Connect, the guys with the big puffy sleeves and oh, yeah, bright yeah, yeah. colors yeah, yeah. and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're kind of known for being wielders of these. So this is not a weapon where you would just take it pointy end like that, or with the other... Uh, like, I'm, I was about to act like I remembered anything from any of the, the previous lessons. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's totally different. And it really depends on what you're dealing with as well. If you're dealing with crowds, if you're dealing with like that bodyguard thing I was talking about, keeping people away, you're gripping here. You're very rarely gonna fight someone else with a montante just because you have better things to do with your time, right? <laughs> it's like paper, rock, scissors, right? You don't send a rock against a rock. You send a rock against the scissors off to the other side. So if you run into another rock, it's like you kind of like, wave and go around and <laughs> go have, you have better things to do. So you don't often see Montante Montante, but you will see Montante against Longsword. And that's kind of why this third grip is talked about. The third grip? Yeah, right. right. So you can hold it here. Uh -huh. And this is how I throw a lot of my cuts and a lot of my motions. But if I'm fighting someone with a shorter weapon where I'm worried about over swinging and over committing, I can go here and start doing a lot of the same motions they'd be doing mm -hmm. at a length they have but with a bigger, heavier, faster weapon. Oh. Is, and is that what this part is to protect your hand yep. up there? Well, how do we get started? All right, so we look at a guy, Figueredo. He has 32 rules for Montante. He has 16 simple, 16 composed. We're Ooh. gonna go through a couple of those. That's a lot. Yeah, we're only gonna through a couple. Full disclosure, I've not gone through all of them. Okay. I've gone Ooh. through, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> yeah. And these are designed as and that's probably getting me some hate in the human community, they're basically katas. They're forms you do to learn how to move the weapon, how to control the weapon, and they give you scenarios where you might apply these things, but you're not gonna do the same thing every single time you do it, but you practice that way so you learn how to flow and how to move the weapon. Gotcha. Right. I mean, that, to me, that's all martial, that's all weapons forms, but especially something like this where you're not looking to spar as you're learning how to use it. You need to learn how to control this weapon. And Figueredo says, like, this first rule we're gonna talk about really gets into kind of the beauty and the art of the weapon itself. Because with this, it's so heavy. This one, I think, is six and a half to seven pounds. That one, which you also not be using, is five and a half or so pounds. And it's just a lot of weapon. And you really, once you need to get the momentum started, you want to keep it going. So five to seven pounds. How, do, how much does a regular longsword weigh? Three. Okay. So a significant difference that yeah. would change your style entirely. Yeah. First thing we're gonna talk about. He all starts right. all of his plays. Point down. Oh. We're gripped. Oh. Thumb underneath. Right hand, thumb underneath. Right. Roger. And so what we're gonna do first is kick the sword into motion. Okay. So we're gonna come in with we're our actually gonna kick it in motion. Yep, because okay. there's a trick to this that's important that really starts the flow of the whole weapon. All right. So as I kick this up, I wanna fall back with it. Okay. And then I'm gonna come up 
with a cut up. Oh, wow. wow. From the you first. You just go right into it. Yeah. So kick, come back, and up. And for this first one, I want the sword finishing vertical. Okay. Vertical. Got it. That's no problem. Yeah. Going, you, am I going? Am I you, going? You go first. All right. That was beautiful. Was it all right? Good. Felt, What's next? Felt somewhat all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Try it again. You, try, no, try it yeah. again. You, you, step, you step through. Uh huh. It's you kick it up and step uh -huh. back. Back. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Clear the room. Clear the room. <laughs> all right. Shields up. So, yeah. Shields up. Okay. So am I? Is my stance good? Is that? Yeah. Okay. And so I just kick lean, it. And then yep. Lean back. You kick and step back, and then step through. Oh, I didn't step through. Didn't look half bad, though. Felt, felt, I mean, I felt was, all right. I was terrified. Does that count? Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> definitely. For the wrong reasons. <laughs> so kick it up, step back. Yeah. There we go. I was saying, you can even stop here. Oh, okay. Right? Stop there, and then let it drop and rise. Oh, yeah, because you want to use that momentum, right? Yeah, to, you're not, you're not, you don't try to force it. You don't want to fight with it. Right. Just let it move through by itself. Okay. Better. Not beautiful. You got beautiful. I'm going to yeah, try buddy. it one more time. Yeah. So you're turning what? your hands a little bit through it, but mm. we'll, we'll get there. Let me try it one more time. One more time. And should his hands be hmm. hands together or hands apart? Hands apart. Oh, yeah. I had them up here yeah, like you're that. Like, okay. <laughs> you're like that art show, like how you never hold a sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't laugh. You I, shut I'm up. I'm trying to help you out, you're buddy. Not. I'm helping you out. Shut up. So now it gets trickier. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> like, remember way back when we talked about the idea of true edge and false edge? And actually, I'm going to steal your sword so we can see what I'm talking about when yeah. I'm doing this. So we talked about true edge and false edge is the front of the sword, back of the sword, yep. and that f lines up with your knuckles. So Figueredo says, from here, I cut a rising cut from my left side with the other edge. So it's not the false edge. I'm not dropping this and kind of like doing this to get back up. What I'm doing, right, so I've, I've cut with the white side. I'm rotating the sword with my left hand. I'm re-gripping from here and cutting through with the other side of the sword. So I kick. Uh -huh. So I'm coming forward with the black side yep. this time. Yep, we chop so through. So I come up. Yep. I twist. Uh -huh. I re-grip with my right hand. And then I kind of re-grip my left as it comes through. And I cut through again. Left, uh, right hand. On. But what this starts giving me is I can just start spinning through this. Wow. High confidence here, Jason. I have high confidence in us. Yeah, OK. I'm glad you do. Yep. All right, so I'll, I'll do it with you, nice and slow. OK. Right, so we're here. Left foot forward. Left foot forward. Right, and really yep. root yourself here. We're going to kick. 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 Pick it up. Dropping. Dropping. Coming through. Stepping. We're vertical. Sword is here. Yeah. We're going to rotate towards our head a little bit. Uh-huh. Regrip. Mm -hmm. Facing away. Regrip our left hand as it drops past our left shoulder. Stepping through. Rising high, yes. Ah. Show me that. Show me that last part again. So yep. from here, uh -huh. I let it. I just let it drop. Okay. Left hand does grab it again, but the sword's doing the work, right? Like we were talking about. Heck yeah. I like that. Okay. So we're halfway home. Okay. We're just doing the same thing backwards now. Oh. oh. Yeah. While okay. stepping backwards, the sword's not moving backwards. We're just doing the okay. same thing twice more. All okay. Right? right. So we start. I'm coming through. One. I twist. Twist. Two. But a twist again the other way now. Uh huh. Step Ugh. backward, twist, step backwards, and then our finished salute is without standing, we pull it to our shoulder Ooh. and put it down. <laughs> I can't wait for you to go first on this one. Okay, this I'm, be I'm, great. Going, I'm going right. first. I'm going you've first. got this. It's easy. You've, yeah, yeah, done, you've yeah. done it. You've done everything we're doing before. You're just stepping backwards now. Yeah. High confidence. Buddy. High confidence. Yeah. I, I can feel it. I appreciate it. <sighs> All right. So, step, yeah, separate right those hands. Step through. Mm -hmm. Step right, through. Step come through. high. Twist in. Good. Then like that. Yep. Step through. Come high. Ugh. Twist it again. Step backwards. So? Yep. Okay. Step backwards. Yep. Twist it again. Step backwards. Like, so, like that? Yeah. All right. No. And then. Oh, and then. You do the kind of cutting up to your okay. right, left shoulder. Yeah. Yep. And then put it back down. Kate. Oh, man. So like when you're standing in an alleyway and 20 guys come forward, you just do that and then you step back and you're like, do you really want to take this alley? Do you? <laughs> yeah. No. Do you have high confidence? I have high confidence. Okay, I believe in you. Yes. 
you are glowing right now. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, because <laughs> right, you're sweaty. Kick that up, kick it in there, come in here, spin it this Twist. way, go that way, yep. and then spin it. Other way. Other way, this way. Yeah, and step backwards. And step backwards and yep. cut that way. And spin it again. And spin it again that way. Yep. And then cut that way. Ooh. And then stand in place, rising to the shoulder. Brought that. Yep, and then put it and down. And then down. Yeah. Wasn't half bad. So, rule two, very similar to rule one. We're throwing the same cut. With rule one, he talked about this cut coming from behind. So it's coming behind us and coming up very vertically, finishing vertically. Yeah. Rule two, we're taking a much wider cut and we're finishing point forward. Okay. And this is why I made you guys do that spin before. Because it feels like if I'm just cutting this really vertical cut, check my distance, I can just sit here and not spin this sword and nothing really matters. Mm -hmm. If I cut this wide angled cut coming here and I try to cut around, I tend to get in my own way. Oh you know? yeah. So as we're doing this cut wide, as I rotate that, it helps me re-choose how I want that spin to happen. Okay. We're not losing the momentum, we're popping it and redirecting it. Right, so once again, same start. Okay. I'm kicking, I'm coming up. This time, I'm just finishing point forward, roughly by my face. Uh -huh. I'm gonna rotate, point forward. Okay. And we'll just do first two again. So we kick that bad boy up, we swing out, and then turn yeah. around. Uh, point forward, not up. Oh, did I go too far up? Yeah, well, you, you broke to here. Okay. Finish in that. Finish there. Yeah. Oh, oh, and then on, on the second one. On both one. sides. On the second one. Second one. Yeah, no, I got distracted. I was so excited for the first one. <laughs> so we kick that up, we swing around, and then we swing around. Did you feel how you didn't rotate that yep. one? It was a lot harder yep. to get that through. Yep, yep, yep. I felt it right here. It was very important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we kick that bad boy up, and we swing it around, and then we rotate, and yeah. we swing it around. So you're turning it over as you're coming through here. Uh huh. Just let it go there. Oh, Hold so on just it. finish there, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hold on to it. Use both hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, there. Gotcha. Because you keep like twisting it yeah. halfway through it. And so there, twist it to there. And step through. Yeah. But yeah. step through there. Okay. So there, twist it. That. Yes. Okay. I like it better when Brian's here, because <laughs> you're better than he is. <laughs> Step with it, step with it. Oh yeah. Like yeah. So. That should feel easier. Split your hands. And then. Yeah. All right, all right. What's next? <laughs> we do the same thing backwards. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go kick. Reverse two. Coming wide, twisting, wide, twisting, back, back. I feel great about everything except the twisting of it in there. I still get a little bit hung up on just yeah. on, just freaking gripping it. Try this. Okay. okay. Sometimes the mass will help you feel what you need to do. Wow, all right. Nothing can go wrong here, this is fine. I'll pantomime with you. Great. All right, so yep, we're gonna kick. kick it up. Mm -hmm. We're coming through. Coming through. Turn. Turn. Step through. Just step through. So get here. I'm always push on the your, long side. Push your left hand underneath. Left hand under yeah, this. that. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're gonna pull it back. Pull it back. Step backwards. Step backwards with that foot. Pull it back in. Step backwards. Oh, you're still up. Yeah, you were doing it right. I feel weird now. Yeah. You look weird. Okay. Yeah. And then we just finish. Okay. Yeah. Nope. That was terrible. I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> Do you want the white one back? Yes. <laughs> But you can feel why that pop's important, though. Uh, and you can oh, yeah. see how this just creates a wall of Yeah, just blade. spinning blade. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's give that another shot. We're going to kick that up. Step, spin around. twist. Step, spin there spin. it is. That's oh, good. And then twist. this time, yeah. we step there. Yep. And then we, like that, roughly. Yep. And then do the, the thing. Oh, the, the, finish your salute. And up, then, to your right, uh, up to your left shoulder. Up to the left shoulder. Yeah. And then. Good. All right. yeah, kinda, I mean. Yeah. No pressure. In, the, in a terrible slow version. Okay, we're gonna do this <laughs> slow. All right, so get up. Step through and spin it towards yourself. Yeah. Yes, and coming backwards. Okay. Spinning and from the lower right. Yep. And then. Yeah. Was that right? And then finish. And then finish it up to your right. left shoulder. Throw another rising cut. Oh, another rising cut. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that pendulous perfect. blade swinging. Back. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. It was. No. It's fine. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. I got myself on the plastic sword somehow. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. How did that happen? Yeah, okay. Impressive. All right. Uh, I'm going to get a paper towel. Uh, <laughs> I do have one question for you first. Yes. Though. How long would somebody train to be able to get to here? How many classes is this? Is just, just is this really day one for Montante? Yeah. For um, what, up to this point, we haven't even got out, gotten out of the tutorial yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not even the first level. So, this... so I ran this class this morning for okay. my people. They come in after our six weeks beginner course, and they've all had at least a month or two of like sword work before they jump into this. Gotcha. But this is fairly entry level stuff. Okay. Yeah. Entry level stuff. Yeah. What's next? All right, so <laughs> we're gonna go outside and play some games. Oh, you guys, yeah. you guys it's only know. 99 degrees outside. Let's do it! Yeah, it's beautiful. You got some shade, some breeze. All right, we're out here for the Montante games. Right. Is that a thing? It Let's, is now. What, what's the first game? One of the rules that Figure Rider has is called defending a fallen cloak. So if one of your compatriots has fallen in battle, or if there's like something you need to stop other people from getting, this is how you protect and defend it. So we're gonna put you on the spot. Okay. Give you the, the basics of the rule. I'll demonstrate it real quick. I'm gonna have these two try to harry you and Fantastic. maybe steal the baby's head. Yeah. Right, so if you two wanna come, we have a selection of, oh, okay. of weapons. If you wanna be safe, you can choose the buff or longsword yeah. like Anna has, you can grab yeah. steel. Remember, he is swinging a large heavy plastic thing at you, so use your judgment. The goal okay. here isn't to actually hit each other. That means you don't get to hit them either. This game sucks. But, but the goal is to harry him and harass him and make him realize what this feels like and what it could be like. So the only difference between this rule and what we've done inside mm -hmm. is now instead of stepping forward with all your cuts, you're stepping in a circle over your planted foot, right? So okay. you can see I can sit here, I can throw all these cuts around, keep the baby safe. If I want to cut the other side, my left leg moves as I hit them. Right. And they're always undercuts. Yes. Right. Yeah, and, and you never and showed us any uh, overcuts. They're, they <laughs> are there, but as you can see, if I bring this down, the ground tends to get in the way. And makes it, it makes it much harder, and it's much easier to build up motions from here. Like I can come from here, I can absolutely bring this around and start doing other things with that. But the, the rising cuts, by far the easiest for all sorts of applications and just as useful, if not more useful than everything else. Right? So they'll be attacking you. I'll be kind of coaching you through this, making sure you're doing things. Don't lose the baby head. We're gonna have okay. you guys on opposite sides. He's sure. over the baby head and you're just trying to keep them away. And you guys, for this one, you can, if you want to circle around a little bit, go ahead and make them work. Okay. Oh yeah. Should I be standing over or yeah. just like, like this? Protect it. That is your down compatriot. Don't let them touch him or stab him or anything. Sir baby head, <laughs> I will protect you from these knaves. <laughs> Rep scallions, people with smaller, so, and softer And remember, people swords. on the outside, you saw Jason swinging that around inside. So yeah. trust your judgment on his presence. Well, he just lost the baby head there. You need to stay over it. I gotta stay over it. Right, one foot is never moving, right? You're just moving in a circle. Okay. Yeah. Yup. So if you're doing a cut, yeah. So you spin over your leg, step over yourself. This is like one of those competitions where you have to put your hand on the truck and you can't take your hand off the truck so you win the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Hands on the baby head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's this my favorite game. It got dark game. really fast, but Hands truly medieval, I think. <laughs> Very medieval. I feel good uh, about it. Okay. High confidence in one of us. All right. So, how do I start? Just like, yeah. <laughs> Trying to hit them. There it is, that's good. Keep it up. Keep ah. the spin. Keep the spin, don't get stuck in one place. Oh, that's frightening. There it is. Oh, that's frightening. <laughs> oh, that's, oh. oh that's, that's frightening. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need a drink of water. Maybe some orange slices. <laughs> so thoughts, how did that feel from your side? Uh, I felt like I could have destroyed them. Yeah, one false move, one over commit and yeah. You just accidentally club them a little bit. It is terrifying to be on the other side, other than obviously there's times when I could have easily killed you. You know, I poked you a right. couple times. But, sure, sure. But it is it is very scary. Oh. I can't imagine actually having somebody that really knows what they're doing <laughs> protecting it. That'd be a real problem. Oh, I wasn't a real problem, but yeah. okay. Oh. Yeah, All no, right. I mean, I, I feel like I was still 
a problem. Yeah. With somebody who knows what they're doing, you're not getting near that then. No. What's the next one? All right, so you're doing a two-on-one. Okay. So you get the Montante, you get preferably the foam weapon again. Is oh, this? okay. Yeah, we don't, our fallen compatriot is safe. Oh, He's okay. Say you succeeded. Because medieval I medicine is great. I saved the baby head. Right? Yeah. So, Sir baby head. <laughs> you get to do this because you showed some, some proclivity in oh. there. So here's how this one works. Did you hear that, Jason? Shut up. Proclivity. Right, I need you to take like three steps further down that way for your own safety. And you're on the exact opposite side. So this is if they're on opposite sides of you, which is Good. the worst situation you can get when yeah. you're fighting two people. Right? So how this works is what we just did inside. Charge one and murder them yeah, real quick. That's absolutely right. But we do it with swinging our sword. Okay. So like we did inside, I go one, uh -huh. two. She's sneaking up on me. I see her. I step back with the thrust. Uh -huh. She runs away, hopefully. <laughs> or not. Right. Then from here, I step left, and then we're back to the beginning. One, two, two her off. thrust, step, one, Two, thrust, step. And you can start seeing, as I'm chasing her down, he has time to chase in against yep. me. Thank you for giving me the easy one, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. Uh, but but you I, have a proclivity yeah, for it. Say, yeah, I might want to <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my proclivity. Right, the reason I'm not attacking you is I'll be coaching you the entire time. Great. Right, let's kick it off. All right. <laughs> so, in place, step through. Stress behind. Oh, don't let me kill you. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is scary when you lean back and you're like, oh no. Right. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, so step, yeah. Yep. And then another and then, one. Oh yeah, another, another spin. And then now you're gonna attack Jason. Oh yeah. So stress behind, just... <laughs> chase him down. Rising from the left. Oh, rising from the yeah. left, sorry. Like, uh, which way? Yeah, just oh, like this. Yep. Then two from the right. Two from the right. And then Anna's leaning up on you. Chase her down. <laughs> Hurry up, run. <laughs> Wait, no, it's two. It's two. <laughs> and then I come back. <laughs> and then do it another one yeah. step, and then come yep, back at exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's two. two. And then. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> I scored a good 10 just, shots on your butthole. I didn't notice it. You didn't notice didn't it. Did you, how many butt shots did you get? I stayed away from the butt, Jason. So. I went right for it. Boom, 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 boom. It's like you Ten had a, shots. It's like you had a proclivity for it. Yeah. Pro so what are your thoughts on that one? How did you feel swinging the sword this time? Yeah, you could definitely feel it. You could just keep it going in a loop. It would be yeah. pretty scary. And you start feeling how after you make him back off, yeah. you turn around and chase this other person down and using those but, chasing steps to keep away from yeah. him as he's trying to sneak think, up on you. Also the point would be is to actually murder one really quick. Yeah. Right, Absolutely. or injure. But if, if, he, if he's being smart, he sees you chasing him, he just backs up because he knows yeah. she's back there. Yeah. So it's playing that game. Like, mm -hmm. I, you don't get to murder really quick because I'm yeah. going to keep myself away and she's going to chase you down because yeah. you can't chase as fast as she can. Yeah. Nice. So you're really pincered in that, in that motion. Yeah. Well, what's the next one before, All right. so, before I expire? Um, so I'm going to be attacking against you guys. Oh, good. And I'm going to be protecting her. So I get to be bodyguard, okay. effectively what this is. All right. And so the concept here, right, is that if she sits locked on here, no matter what I'm doing, as long as I'm dictating what I'm doing with my sword here, she's safe, right? Yeah. So I can sit here, throw these cuts, knowing that as long as she's behind me and I can feel where she is. Oh, yeah. Is there any styles for other swords that use that same kind of bodyguard technique? Not that I've seen sources for it. Okay. Like Montante gets away with it because it's such big and clearing. Yeah. Like I'm never turning and spinning in any dramatic way. And like yeah. I do modify my, my movement more. <laughs> I'm staying a little bit more square, stepping after the cuts more. Yeah. And I guess that's also the distance too, because if we were doing much shorter swords, it'd be easy for me to just yeah. get around, easier yep. to get around and get around. And, and, the problem is too with shorter swords is that grappling comes into it. Yeah. And so if somebody grapples him, like I, then you're, hi, now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Corey, uh, can I get you for a second? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. They're planning uh, something. Uh, I don't have a plan. No, uh, no. I'm going to just talk here. Okay. And <laughs> Say, take I want a rock. <laughs> just a second to go. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like, that's not, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, just like have like okay. an so it's like behind right you. Like okay. right now? Or in, like, in no, when it starts. Okay. I'm gonna push you out of and I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Wait, Still like soft. sacrifice. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah, noble. I wonder how heavy I mean, this is. A oh gosh, dangerous. let me check over here. Okay, let's <laughs> see. even notice. We got, we got, I believe in you. Full confidence, maximum effort. I don't know if I like this all of a sudden. 
It's a plastic it's a one. I'm point. sure you'll be fine. I feel all kinds of feels. You, you get pinned in already? Oh, dude. I'm ready. <laughs> We're on offense and I feel very pinned in. I'm ready. <laughs> all right. Get up there. Oh, yeah, get no. up there. Get no. on it. No. Get no. on him. No, I don't like it. Do it. it. I don't like <laughs> it anymore. I don't like it anymore. I'm going around. I'm going around. Quarry. I'm going around. Quarry, you Hey, don't be kidding. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to go around the backside. I didn't go around the backside. I think we did yeah. it. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. I was armed just in case, too. Nothing yeah. happened. Yeah, no, that's that's very effective. <laughs> <laughs> what, the running around? That wasn't effective. <laughs> Anna and Anthony, thank you so much. Where can we find more of your wonderful skills? <laughs> we are Austin Historical Weapons Guild, historicalweaponsguild.com. We have Facebook. We have Discord. Uh, we're located here in Austin. If you're ever visiting, take a lesson. We're trying to edge our way into bachelor parties, bachelorette parties corporate stuff, things like that. So and we definitely. Do, we do have a thing called the Dagger Date Night. Oh. So looking for an interesting and unique date experience. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold you guys my hand could, for Dagger Date yeah. Night. You guys could have a picnic in a park and then learn how to stab each other for an hour. Really? Yeah. We, we were gonna do that this Sunday anyway. I know. That's great. We stole it from you, really. All right, now one more time, everyone. Blaze raise high on three. One, two, three. Montante! All right, things that I like. Science-based mind control. Oh, yeah. Science-based mind control, like neuro-linguistic programming? No, or I said science. NLP is a bunch of salespeople trying to sell their book on how to sell other people their book. I'm talking about like cognitive behavioral therapy. Oh, the I'm real stuff. I'm talking about, yeah, the way you reprogram your brain where it's like, no, it doesn't matter what your relationship with your dad used to be. What matters is, are you behaving in a good way or a bad way? How do you put yourself in the best position to win? That's what I love about our friends over at Noom. They're about results. And their program helps you craft a healthy lifestyle, whether that's losing weight or getting fit or just feeling better. I like the way that it's not just no pain, no gain. Best of all, you are held to account because you have your own personal coach who's going to make sure that you stick to the plan and don't give up halfway. It's Corey! It's Corey! It's Corey! It's Corey. Yes. You're somebody who's really good at following instructions. Right? You have started the Noom program. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about it so far? So far, so good. I really, I really love it. The goal-orientedness of it. And then today, I actually was able to talk to my coach. Yeah. I was, I was a little nervous, to oh. be honest. Not about the coach. Okay. But about today. What yeah. about today? Today's a shoot day. Yeah. And somebody always brings donuts. Who brought donuts? And so the coach was able to give me practical tips to help me not eat all Jason's donuts. He was already ratting you out <laughs> on day one. Day one. How does that day feel? One. Just like I'm the biggest problem in your, your journey, it, in your health and fitness journey. You're, you're certainly not a big help, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. They don't call them problems, they call them challenges to what? be overcome. Will Corey defeat Donut Devil? <laughs> <laughs> so you are talking to your coach about Donut Devil. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> but what's the type of thing that your coach would tell you to handle them. The tip that she gave me was to be sure to eat healthy right before he shows up with the donut, so that way you're less tempted I'll to eat the donut. Oh, oh, so hungry. Here's the important question, Corey, is how long do you intend to ride this train? So while setting up uh, Noom and going through their quiz, uh, they have you set a goal. So my goal was to be 200 pounds by next May. And so you answer a bunch of questions and it tells you how likely that is and what the things you're going to have to do so they can tailor. So they're the... totally straight shooters. Like they're oh, not totally. going to BS you yes. about like, you know, like, oh yeah, you'll weigh one pound yep. by Christmas. Yeah, because they'll, they'll tell you like, oh, that's going to be pretty challenging. Are you willing to do X, Y, and Z to get there? And you say yes or no. And then it'll, it'll adjust the date of when you could hit that weight goal. Are you telling me what I think you're telling me, which is that we get a front row seat to watch a total body transformation yes. from you? Yes, yes. It seems to me like we should support our friends over at Noom by going to Noom.com slash rogue. You're going to have to carry the extra weight of the donuts that Corey's yeah. not going to be eating, though. I can't carry the ring, about... but I can carry Corey. I don't know about now. <laughs> but you will. But you will. <laughs> Soon, you'll be able to carry it. Go to Noom.com slash rogue, take the free quiz, and beat the donut devil. I mean, assuming that's your own personal demon. I mean, do make yourself better is what the devil is trying to say. Demon to some, angel to others. Probably shouldn't have gone with the whole demon thing. And join me on a quest for better health and less donuts. See, th this is better. Offer and link in the description below. Yeah, and even like push that 
left hand under forward yeah. more because you really want yeah but i got muscles and oh snap oh is that what it is <laughs> So like, so I like, want this I here. Look, I can't even touch my hands. And I want you to feel unhappy about this <laughs> versus this yeah. or this. Yeah. 